As we told you at the top of the newscast, there are currently 12 cities and towns with mandatory evacuations tonight. New tonight, North Kingstown, Middletown, and Tiverton join Westerly, Charlestown, South Kingstown, Narragansett, Coventry, Bristol, Portsmouth, Newport, and Jamestown. Newport is also on that list, and as we saw, many homes in the city by the sea are boarded up. Owners are not taking any chances with Irene. Eyewitness News reporter Nick Nwosu has more. This is their kind of weather. Brave surfers riding the waves at Newport's Easton's Beach. While homeowners boarded up and looked for higher ground, the town issued a mandatory evacuation of coastal areas by midnight Saturday. We're on Ocean Drive in Newport where you can see the waves have really started to pick up. The police officers have blocked off this road. They're asking residents to evacuate, but they say they're having a difficult time getting people to heed their warnings. When she heard the common fence area of Portsmouth was under a mandatory evacuation, Sherry Monsinger uh, didn't wait to pack up. Never in the history of this house has there been water past this driveway you know, halfway up the driveway, so uh, we're hoping that that's the case for us now. Three Portsmouth neighborhoods, low-lying areas, and all trailer parks in town were ordered to evacuate by late Saturday afternoon. At flows in the Island Park section of town, things were busy before the clam shack shut its doors. That's why I'm here, because they're going to be closed tomorrow. <laughs> they're not open during the hurricane. We're going to get everything out of here, totally out of here, open up these floodgates on the front and back, and we'll just let the water go in and out. That was Nick Nwosu reporting. If you need a place to stay on Aquidneck Island, there is a shelter set up at Portsmouth Middle School. There is also a shelter at Gaudet Middle School in Middletown.